uh, today we're just doing a quick tutorial um, how to take a turbo out from a Detroit Series 60 um, first thing you need to do is uh, take these clamps over here this one from here loose them up and then uh, the one on the top right here right here I'm not gonna take everything out I just showing and then this should come out from here out and then uh, the bottom one should come out to to the to the right and then uh, next step is uh, take this two nuts right here two right here and then uh, two on the bottom one's one right there and there's another one over here those two and this the whole thing come out and uh, set it to the side next step is uh, disconnect all the sensors go into the turbo this goes this one you disconnect this one just in case this one is attached too much and other wires and this green one it goes to the turbo so it be, need to be disconnected and there's another one it's this one that temperature sensor for the turbo this is the speed sensor for the turbo, the green one. So make sure you disconnect those two. The other thing is uh, disconnect this line, the airline that goes to the actuator for the turbo. That's the airline. That's the one activate the turbo when it's accelerating. And then the next next one is that that right there. Let's see if I can get a, this need to be disconnected. That's the oil for the bearings on the filter on the turbo. I'm sorry this one okay and then we disconnect this one from here see this is the intercooler goes all the way to the intercooler disconnect that one and attach it and it should fall a little bit if you wanna take the whole thing out from there that way you have more space once you take this out and this one, it's a lot of space in this right here. Next one is that clamp right there. This one. Let it go to the exhaust pipe. Take that clamp out. And uh, you, you just push that one back a little bit. That way you free of everything and then we got a uh, we got we got just four 13 millimeters um, I don't know if you can see that let me go up there took them 13 millimeter um, 16 
point socket. Go right here. You can see that one. There's two right there. Take those two out. And then it uh, should be another one right there. And the straight down is the other one. That is a 30 millimeter, 13 or half inch, um, 16 point socket. And then, uh, and then you go, make sure this line is out of the way. This line, that way you don't damage that one, because that's the oil. So I'll try to put it on the side. So when you take those off, the nuts, you take, you need to hold it, hold the turbo, hold the turbo because it has Up. Got that pipe right there. Right here. That pipe, you just slide and those in that hole right there. That's the drain, oil drain for the turbo. And uh, that's why you have to hold it. See that one? The two, it just go in in there. This one right here. It goes inside there, and once you take those um, unscrew the the turbo, that thing you should lift it up the turbo up because it's just a slide in there you don't want the uh, uh, push it too much down because it's gonna damage the pipe and then uh, same way you take it out you put it over there and make sure that hole in that pipe Line with the hole that way you can and chain the old chain change all the um, gaskets. They got the O rings, two O rings in there, and that pipe. And this one has two. This one right here. So it's not that um, too much work. Yes, indeed. It's heavy, though. It's very heavy. Yes, indeed, right here. And those nuts. Make sure you put oil, like W40 or whatever. It helps to loosen them up more easy. And then, uh, you know couple hours before you start working on it that way you don't break those uh, bolts so it's not like and then you put everything once you had it in there tie those nuts up and and put the the clamps back together everything together don't forget to connect all the wires you know two connectors right here the speed sensor and the temperature sensor goes to the turbo right there you guys you see the two wires little wires and tie everything up put that clamp back make sure it's tight and this one 
this right here put it together if you take them out from here you need to tie it up pretty good so we don't leak your uh, pressure in there and right here too make sure there's no pressure uh, coming out and this one don't forget to connect that one the line the airline for the actuator otherwise the turbo is not gonna work and that was it so you know comment on my video and get any questions let me know I I will be glad to help you with you know whatever I I know thank you